So now we're going to have a look at action points. Basically how your yeah, characters can do, can do things. Yes. That's right, yeah. So during each activation, a character is normally granted two action points. All right, we talked about leaders. They get an extra action point. And you can get cool. additional actions through yeah. various things as well. All right, they'll come mm. that, that look on the character cards and it'll tell you there. Generally but, speaking, normal characters will just have two. But having <laughs> actions is good. There's lots of things that you can do. Um, and they, if you have a look on page nine of the rule, that's where we are now. Yep. So each action has an associated action point cost. Actions can be taken in any order and may be repeated, but each action must be fully resolved before proceeding to the next. That makes sense. Makes absolute sense. Right. So let's go through them. The most common one is move. All right, so one action point. You move the character's model up to its MV stat in inches. Pretty straightforward. Mm. If a model makes a move action while in base contact with an enemy model or models, multiples, those enemies may target it with a disengaged strike before it moves. Yes. And that's bad. That's, <laughs> really... that's bad. Yeah, don't, Especially don't if there's multiples. If you get surrounded, it, it's a problem. It's a real problem. Mm. Um, for two action points, you so an all-in, you can charge. <laughs> so it's essentially, you, you don't use the move side of things. You use the CH or the charge stat, which is usually yeah. a bit higher. Yeah, it's not not usually uh, like quite double for most like humans. It's it's just shy of it's double. Just, yeah, just a little bit more. So basically, uh, move up to its charge stat in inches mm -hmm. and move into base contact with the targeted enemy model, or whatever distance it needs to be to make yeah. whatever attack so you, it's going you, to do. You have to declare someone within line of sight as your intended target yep. in order to charge them. Yeah, and then you move your charge distance. And as long as you can get into base contact with that model, your charge is successful. That's right. Yeah. So a model must be able to reach its target with a charge action, does not have to travel in a straight line, which is handy. Yeah. And if it's engaged with an enemy model or models, you can't charge. Mm. It's too hard. <laughs> and a model ending its movement in base contact with multiple models can only make an attack against the original target. Yeah. So you have to you have to select who you're going to charge. You, have you can to have you your can intended pile target. in, but yeah, 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 your initial target, as they say. And at, at the end of your charge, assuming it's successful, you can make best. an immediate combat attack with an additional d6. Yes. So instead of the normal two d6 plus whatever, you get an, an additional d6 for a charge. Yep. Which is really good. Well, an, ex <laughs> an extra six potential six wounds yeah. and another chance to get two d6. Yeah, two two sixes. So already, we, you know? we we haven't technically gone into how wounds work and stuff, but just trust me, that extra it's, D6 is it's, good. it's good. Yeah, because you're it's trying really to yeah, oppose roll. It'll be an opposed roll. Mm. So the higher you roll, the better. If your opponent's only only rolling two D6 and you're rolling three, you're more likely to be winning. That's it. That's it. And only the winner can fire off the mythos effects and things like that. Yeah. It's whoever wins. So yeah. it's good. It's good to win. All right, um, so that's the main movement. The, 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 there's other movement that we touched on where you place a model. So yeah, like some abilities let whatever, you move things around. Yeah, but that's stuff different like that. again. That's not considered a move or a charge. That's different. Okay, combat attack. So this is base-to-base -base or your close combat stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so the pick and swords and everything else you've got. It's one action point to make a strike. So... Uh, use their combat attack against an enemy model in base contact or within reach of whatever attack that they can get, do that's combat based. So that's that's one of those attack abilities that is base contact. Yes, as, that's right. Is what you're trying to do there. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do have a two action point option for close yes, combat. Which, which they didn't have before, I no, don't think. No, so this is one of the new things. Which, I think this was really an ability like. before, wasn't it? No, uh, it may have had that. Yeah. yeah, they may have changed the name for the Ooh. others. Yeah. So for two action points, they can use their combat attack against an enemy model in base contact, but you add one plus the size of that model's base. And remember, some of these guys have a base size of five. Five. So yep. you're adding six to that. <sighs> but it does cost you two. So if you stick with your two action points and you use it all up a mighty blow, then you better hope you win because, you know, 
yeah. stuff otherwise. But you can make two attacks in a turn if you're in base contact with someone and you don't kill them with the first attack. You could just say, well, I'm going to I'll try again. again. Yeah. But remember, each time that you roll your dice, if it goes bad for you, you're the one taking the damage. Yeah. yeah. So it could be good to do that just to give you that extra kick. If, you know? if, if you're already in contact with someone and you've got a decent size base. Yeah. Uh, even if you're a human, you can do this, right? It doesn't Absolutely. have to be a certain size. No, no, no. So you could spend your two and get a plus two to your A roll. plus two. That's right. I That's... mean, if you're fighting someone who's your same base size and they're maybe they're right on the brink, yeah. it might be worth it. That plus you know, two is... It. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So they also have ranged attacks. So for one action point, you make a ranged attack against an enemy model that is within range and line of sight, but you can't target enemy models that are engaged. Yeah, so you can't shoot into melee, basically. Yeah. is the, that, that comes up in a lot of tabletop games, is how do I cope with the fact that my guy's over there fighting with someone and I want to shoot him. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. But they have, again, they've added something else now. Which is the aim points, shot. The aim shot, which basically allows you to attack an opponent who is engaged. You're taking mm. your time and you just... On your, which is, else which is pretty cool. Well, that's good because they didn't yeah. have that before. No, and it, 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 I found that it, it sort of hindered a lot of the characters that were not close enough to assist yeah. when they should have been able to yeah. if, if the conditions were right. So if you spend those extra action points to, so your character's not wasted for their activation. No, you're not sitting there doing nothing good. or moving around or any of that sort of stuff. You've got something you can do with a range attack, mm. even when you're shooting into melee. I, I like that. I yeah. think that's cool. Yeah. And they've done the same thing with the... For arcane. Arcane. So one action point to do an arcane ranged attack, essentially. They don't mm -hmm. call it ranged attack. They're just an arcane attack. So it'll be it'll be some sort of like mind-bending thing, or it'll be a beam of rot or something like that but yeah. it's it's an arcane attack it'll list it on their ability there yeah and focus cast two action points same thing now normally if you're engaged your line of sight your vision for attacks and things like that is restricted to the models that are you're actually in base to base with yeah so you can't charge out of that you can't do a range attack out of that you sort of need to get out of there Mm. <laughs> and then have a go, but again, you're sort of... I, I think it. when you're doing it in... When you are engaged, you have to fight against the people that you're engaged they're with. They're the ones. You're not they're allowed to target. shoot it out. You, no, they're You have target. to fight against the people that are engaged with you. And it's probably a smart thing anyway, because yeah. you, you want them dead. Yeah. <laughs> you want them out of the way. If, you, if you're going to be only using, like, arcane or range stuff, then you may as well do it against the people that are standing right next to you. Mm. Um, that makes sense. So the next action for one action point is called Recover. And this one is actually quite important to know, mm. all right? So with all these Mythos effects of burn and paralysis and blind, blind and, and blind uh, and, all yeah. these things, if, if you have, you can spend an action point, if you're unengaged, you can do it to remove one of those conditions from you or an active model or a single unengaged friendly model within two inches. Mm. So you can Which help an ally. Pretty good. Yeah, you'll need it. It, it's, yeah. it did happen quite a bit with our games, I noticed, because we were just getting Mythos going off and... Boom. Yeah, it, it was... There, was a, there was a thing that meant you lost a, a an action point on your next turn or something. Yeah, it's fatigue. probably still in there. Fatigue's That's the one. still on, yeah. 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 So I think... the, this was really good because you could have one of the lower level guys spend his action points to say, well, you don't have that on you anymore. And then your really big, powerful guy can go, well, yeah, I've got all I, of my action I'm, points I'm ready to, to go. beat face. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so the recover one is actually very good. So you will be using that, but it is. It's and, it, and again, you can use it multiple times because it only costs you one action point. So Correct. you can use it um, over and over again if you want to. Well, at least twice. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have to do actions. So they have one called pass. For one action point, does nothing. Yeah. You do nothing. So you pick can, your nose or whatever you, can, you do. Nothing. You can pass twice, scratch yeah. your bum, pick your nose, yeah. and do nothing. If you're not, if you're holding objective, you have got no line of sight, or you can't, you just can't do anything. You don't want to move. You just, just go pass, 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 pass. And the last one, interact for one action point. So this is used for the various 
reasons related to scenarios and it'll be mentioned in the scenarios whatever you make yourself you can yeah. have an interact action to do what you to, need to, to do. do something specific in the scenario yeah pulling levers and opening chests and moving things around and blah 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 that's blah, right blah. so just scenario just specific so it's not yeah. something that's going to be on your character card or anything like that no. all right so those action points very easy. It's all on one page. You can reference it there. You play a couple of games. You know what you need to spend. You know what benefit you get. It's all mm. very straightforward. But they, but by adding the the mighty blow and the aim shot and the focus cast, yeah, I like that. Really, really, really good. That, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, really good. So those are action points. Boom.